So I've got a big project today. While the roast is cooking, I'm going to do some RV organization. Sometimes you have to really live in a situation and see what works and what doesn't work. And I can tell you right now that this does not work. <laughs> it's crazy. Um, and I've even put canisters in here, or little trays, and it still doesn't work. So I bought some bigger little plastic bins. I'm going to see if I can get this organized. And another closet or another pantry that doesn't work is this. I've tried this uh, little tote here. Doesn't work. Um, so I'm going to try a different method here. This is like paper towels, light stuff really. Baggies and stuff like that. And then the bigger items down here which is like blenders and crock pots and rice cookers and uh, protein powders and then chips because they always get crushed up here. So that is part of my project today too, is see if I can't get this a little bit more organized. So this is gonna be some of the solution to the organization problems that we have in the RV right now. So let's get started. Okay, this is not the finished product, but I'm getting close. So I'm rearranged and put baking goods, things that I don't use very often in the very back. Cereals. This is breads and crackers. Um, anytime I'm you know, it's light, lightweight, and I can just pull it down and look inside. So, bread and crackers. Like I said, I'm not completely through, but these are all soups, canned goods, beans, things that I don't get into that often. And during this process, I found seven cans of chicken noodle soup. That was the problem with the last organization or non-organization that I had because you can never find anything so I'd rebuy it. Um, I have six boxes of turkey stuffing and the only reason I, I have that many is because well this is great value but the Surefine I bought these right after Thanksgiving for 25 cents a box. That's why I have so many of those. So guess what? I'm cooking this week. <laughs> I'm going to get rid of some of the stuff that I have so many duplicates of. Um, coffee. These are my favorite refried beans and can of coffee. And down here this is jars, things that could break. Um, I would like to keep them contained in case there is a breakage. Then it will stay contained in this um, tub. But peanut butter, molasses, um, just other kinds of odds and ends. And in here, this is nuts and seeds. All kind of, I have almond seeds, pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds. Uh, these didn't fit, so they're right there. There's some cashews. Um, stuff to make my fat bombs. I've got everything in there. And my blender. And I just have a few more items to put up basically. This is my dehydrated foods. So it's lightweight. This is a little potato soup that I opened. So I've got to find a place for that. And these are what I'm going to install in the closets or 
in all the uh, cabinets one on each self shelf here so I can see and oh I don't think I said what was in here this is like snacks cookies and gum and cranberries just kind of snack stuff peanut butter cracker stuff like that this is all pastas and I have a bunch of pasta in the outside kitchen but this is gonna be um, canned meats and pastas it's lightweight so it'll sit right there but these are the little lights that I'm gonna hang up may do it on the side here or one up here underneath hadn't decided yet oh let me show you my spices so spices are all in a tub it's gonna be hard to show because I can't hold this ca uh, door open okay this is everything I use every day salt pepper garlic and coconut butter these are the spices I use most of the time um, to make my taco seasonings and there's another tub in the back that is things I don't use quite as often like Italian seasonings and all like things like that and in this tub this is cups and koozies I could never find a koozie now they're all right here some Pam and some Splenda and but that is gonna be so much easier to if I'm looking for something I kind of know exactly what bin it's in I might have to remove these items to pull them out to get to that but that's no big deal because Otherwise, the other way I was just moving bottles around all the time and getting very frustrated so I think that's gonna work out a whole lot better so when I get it completely finished there are things out um, this is old not old but this is a, a Keurig cafe mocha I am getting rid of a regular coffee maker we do use a Keurig but we do not buy the k-cups um, those are some that Kim had left over what we do buy are these little reusable or well we bought one I mean actually but I guess it was a box and it came with four so we got two of them out and t left two in the box and we just refill these with the cheap Walmart coffee and the other little tool is this little thing you just scoop up the coffee close that and dump the coffee into the k-cup so I do like the speed of the Keurig how fast it makes so whenever we have electricity this is what we're gonna be using so my little bitty mr. coffee maker is gone bye bye once i get it all oh what i was talking about over here is this is uh k cups coffee cups and lids teas so this is gonna get um boxed up i may leave one box of tea out and uh it's gonna get stored under the bed Okay, I went to Dollar Tree and got these AAA batteries. One package a dollar. Can't beat that. And these, these aren't touch. Well, they are touch, but they're not push button. You just touch this right here. Sorry, that probably blinded you. So it's just, but it's not all the way around. It's just that one little place right there, so. You gotta install them where you know I'm gonna install them where this is facing closest to the door so always when I reach my hand in I can just touch it like that this is the final result of my RV organization it took me almost all day to do this I've got everything I think where it's workable I hung my lights 
know if I can reach, can I reach this one? Yeah. So I'll turn on all my lights. Put one on the side there. And one down here. So you can see on each shelf. So the problem with these shelves are they're very deep and wide. And so when you tried to put anything in here, things just got buried. So I think I kind of went over everything. I ended up putting my dehydrated items back there and all my cooking supplies, brown sugar, grits, um, flowers, extra flour, sugar, and things like that. This is still my bread and cracker bin. This is still my pasta and canned meats. These are my snacks. Popcorns and kale chips and corn nuts and just kind of odds and ends snacks. And these are my canned goods. And then down here, my chips are still probably going to live here. Um, and all my appliances. But this is the same, and this is the same. I showed you this. This is working out really well. And all that tea and coffee, it ended up in this bin right here, which is going to end up in storage. Now, one thing I didn't show you, but I talked about it, was the bathroom storage. And it got done, too, so those are all extra bins and and lids. I'll show you the bathroom storage and this was something that I didn't show you prior but the same thing with this. This is just a huge closet. It's deep and it's really wide and I mean you could just put stuff in here and things would be way lost. So everyday items that are used, hair dryer brushes, um, lotions, hairsprays, stuff like that. These are my clothes. These are my shirts, undergarments here. This is stuff that, well, this one is replacement items like toothpaste. When we run out of toothpaste or things, this is the next box you'd pull. And then this would be the next box. I have saline solution, contact lotion, stuff, very tall stuff in this one. So these would be the only two that you normally would access, but not very often. This is a medicine bin. Um, went through all that, got rid of stuff in there. This is like heating pads and blood pressure cuffs and um, things that you hardly ever get to. Ice packs, but you have them, you need them. Um, that's in here. And then back there are some other things that you hardly ever ever get to and then these are just like baby wipes and Kleenex um, replacements and an extra hair dryer but this got a major overhaul and I wish I would have taken a before picture but I didn't because it was going to be separate but I had to use some of the bins that was already in here they were smaller I had to use them in that uh, pantry so it kind of got done at the same time so let me know how you organize your RV do you use tubs what other things do you use to to organize all your stuff